Live from up top the hills in the Santa Clarita Valley, it's Mustangs Championship Football 2009. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Lee alongside, as always, with Jeremy Sadowski. And we're here to bring you CIF Championship Football here at the College of the Canyons in Santa Clarita, California. It's your Maricosta Mustangs from Manhattan Beach, California, taking on Alamany Warriors. Of course, uh, Jeremy, not the first time the Mustangs have made it to the CIF finals, not even the uh, first time with a potential championship here as uh, all the old school Mustangs are uh, coming out for this one. They're Bob Fish along the sidelines there chatting up with uh, one probably one of his old students Jeremy tell us briefly about the Mustangs in CIF championship situations yeah Chris this is the first time like you mentioned the Mustangs have played a championship game here at the College of the Canyons last time was versus Hart during the Michael Oko era where the Mustangs came up short however there is a similarity between this Alamany team and that Hart team. They both have the same offensive coordinator, so it'll be interesting to see if Ray Lee can put together a good scheme to stop this Alamany, potent Alamany offense. Of course, the Mustangs have won two championships in the CIF in the past, hoping to make it three tonight. Of course, uh, Mustangs, uh, maybe the most balanced Mustang team we've seen yet, both offensively and defensively. This team is stacked with talent on both sides of the ball. Uh, Jeremy, of course, this will be the uh, last time Mustangs uh, football team, the 2009 version, uh, attack the, uh, the field here on offense and on defense. What has really kind of stood out to you offensively for the Mustangs this season? Well, Chris, like you mentioned, this offensive side and defensive team is loaded. On offense, it's led by the seniors, Kyle DeMarco to Kyle Nunn, the Kyle to Kyle connection, as we like to call it. Then you have that great offensive line. You have the running backs, Morgan Reese. You got Rico Wright. You have a lot of good solid senior leadership all throughout that offensive side of the ball and defensively you are led by the junior J.R. Tavai and his brother Jordan Tavai on the line. You got Jake Gelmini, you have Jackson Morrow, Morgan Reese, you have the Loch Ness Monster, you have Kyle Nunn, Rico Wright in the backfield along with J.R. Oshima. So both of these teams are loaded and you have the special teams led by place kicker Alex the Roach Narocha and a fine punter Brendan Sofen. I gotta say for me, maybe the uh, senior leadership, uh, the seniors really stepping up the last you know six, seven games. We've talked about it quite a bit lately. Kyle to Kyle uh, connection. Kyle DeMarco has been a great senior leader for the squad. Kyle Nunn has really stepped up his game big time. Definitely has some uh, college recruiting going on now after this second half of the season. And this contest is on its way. Alex the Roach Narocha for the Mustangs kicks that one into the end zone. That's a touchback. Penalty was down on the field, so we will get a re-kick. Of course, uh, Alex has been uh, kicking that one in for touchbacks all season long for the Mustangs. Clearly he was pumped on that first quick kick. Let's see if he can keep that energy up here for this three kick. Mustangs, of course, in their road, white and gold pants. 
White jerseys with the gold pants. Alamany in the dark jerseys. And there is that opening kick. And again, it bounces into the end zone. That one will be a touchback. No penalties on the <clears throat> ground on that one. Alamany will start out on offense. First and 10 from the 20 yard line. Alamini will start out in shotgun. And in motion. Alamini goes to the air. Quick pass out to the running back in the flat. Tackle nicely. Good job by the Mustangs. Morgan Reese all over that play. Alamini gets maybe two yards on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and eight situation here in the opening quarter. Alamini with the first offensive possession of this contest. CIF championship game here. Mustangs against Alamany. Alamany to the air again. This one's complete. That one gets out to about the 33 yard line. That will be enough for a first down. First and 10 Alamany, just a simple uh, slant pattern. Nicely thrown ball by Alamany. And in motion. Sweep left. Alamini's back cuts it straight up the middle. Gets seven on the play. It's going to bring up a second and three. That was Maribel with the carry for Alamini. Dunn, quarterback for Alamini in shotgun. And a flag comes down. This will be against Alamany. That's gonna bring up a second down situation now, second and eight. Shotgun for Dunn. There's the snap. He looks right, throws right, and completes right. That one's knocked out of bounds. Good tackle out there by Kyle Nunn. Just shy of the first down marker. It's going to bring up a third down and three for Alamine. Third down play set now. Sweep right. Alamini has enough for the first down and that's um, still going. Mustangs trying to get there in time to knock him out and finally they do. That was a nice run by Maribel for Alamini. Gets all the way down to the two yard line. First and goal Alamini. And another flag comes in. There'll be a nice break for the Mustangs defense if this is against Alamany, which looks like it will be. Oh, they were calling this one off. Timeout on the field, they're saying the timeout was called before the penalty, so Alamany actually gets a little bit of a break there. We're back now to first and goal from the two yard line. Sweep right, and Alamini gets in. They get on the scoreboard first. Touchdown, Warriors. Oh. Alamini set for the point after attempt. Impressive opening drive by the Warriors. Good snap, the kick is up. It's high, it's straight, and it is good. Alamany goes on the scoreboard first, seven to nothing. Here in the first quarter. Of course, that's uh, something that's very rare, very rare to see this season. The Mustangs defense has done a great job of letting that offense take the uh, early lead. However, Alamany does get on the scoreboard first. Let's see how the Mustangs offense can respond. 
Mustangs, especially offensively, have started off very aggressive in the opening quarters of these games. Kyle Nunn takes that one, but takes it in the end zone. That's a touchback. Mustangs will start off first and 10. They start off with a three back formation. Mustangs looking to set the tone early, it looks like. One yard gain on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and nine for the Mustangs. I think it's the first time, Jeremy, we've seen the Mustangs open in that three back formation. We see it often, but usually not on the opening drive on the first play from the 20. Meantime, Mustangs that time go to a shotgun formation. Kyle DeMarco keeps it, gets about two on the play. It's gonna bring up a third down and seven for the Mustangs. Kyle DeMarco under center, three receiver set. It's play action, he rolls right, throws right, and that is complete right. What a great catch out there. That looked like that may have been Adam Lawrence. In fact, it was nice catch by Adam Lawrence. First and 10 Mustangs. Perfect throw by DeMarco. Nice way for him to start this contest off. First and 10 now Mustangs. We're here in the opening quarter. Alamany leads seven to nothing. DeMarco looks deep, he goes deep, he's got a man deep, and he's got Kyle Nunn. Kyle to Kyle connection for a big time play all the way down to the 29. First and 10 Mustangs. Yeah, Chris, let's take another look at this play as we see the Mustangs here go to their favorite bread and butter play. It's the Kyle to Kyle connection. And here Kyle goes against two defenders times his leap perfectly look that defender has his hand on the ball but Kyle Nunn is just too strong and holds on to it great play great defensive coverage there but Kyle Nunn is just too strong when he gets his hands on the ball he doesn't let it go and great job by uh, Kyle Nunn to shield his body Shield the defenders with his body. Make sure that he was the only one who can make a play on the ball. Great job. First and 10 Mustangs now. It's a handoff. Rico Wright this time with the carry. Tries the left hand side. Works for about five yards. It's going to bring up a second down situation now for the Mustangs. They go back to that three back formation. Again, it's Rico Wright who makes a nice cut. Tries to turn that corner and is knocked out of bounds. Gets all the way down to the four yard line. First and goal Mustangs. Rico Wright with a nice carry. Three back formation again and again it's Rico. He cuts, he spins, he turns. Looks like he got in and he does hit the touchdown. Mustangs, Mustangs have answered Alamany's opening score with the touchdown of their own. Yeah, Chris, again, it's that well-balanced attack that we've seen from this Mustang offense all season long. You got the runs there by Rico Wright, the long pass play to Kyle Nunn, the other pass to Adam Lawrence, and then you got the Roach coming in and kicking the extra point to tie it all up here at seven. As the Mustangs have done all season long, they start off aggressive in the opening quarter. They score on their first offensive possession tonight, and they tie this game up 7-7 here in the first quarter. Let's see now how the Mustangs defense responds. Alex Narocha kicks that one deep into the end zone. That's a touchback again. Alamany opening in shotgun. Yeah, Chris, uh, Alamany was able to draw the Mustangs off. They use a lot of motion with the offensive linemen. You'll see two guys go in motion a lot, one setting and then another one starting as we see 
A nice play here by the Mustangs defense. Converging, uh-oh, here comes Kyle Nunn to finish it off. Mustangs D does a great job of stringing that one out. The entire team comes up with the tackle, literally. Second down situation now for Alameda. They lost a couple yards on the play, so it's second and seven. They keep this one on the ground. And that looks like that will be enough for a first down. In fact, it is first and 10, Alamany. Nice run off left tackle. Ball spotted at the 37 yard line, first and 10. It's a handoff to the back out of the shotgun formation. They take this one all the way down to the 44 yard line. It's gonna bring up a second and short, second and about three for Alamany. We're here in the opening quarter. This game is tied at seven apiece. Alamany on the sweep right, and the Mustangs defense comes up with the big time tackle. That's number six, Morgan Reese with the hit. Four yard loss on the play, third down and seven now. Great play by Morgan Reese. Alamany on the rollout, rolling left. They decide to keep it. Good coverage downfield by the Mustangs. However, that time it almost hurts them as they end up giving up a nice QB run. Enough for a first down. Alamany now first and 10 at the 50. Man in motion and a flag comes in. This one may be against Alamany. That one is against Alamany, five yard loss, first and 15 now. Play action. Alamany goes to the air and oh, nice completion despite a good hit by Kyle Nunn. That will be more than enough for a first down. First and 10 Alamany now, ball spotted at the 27 yard line. Shotgun formation. It's a handoff straight up the middle. They get about four on the play. It's going to bring up a second down. I'll call it second down and six. Man in motion. Second man in motion. It's a sweep left. Alamany cuts it straight up the middle. That's going to be close for to a first down. Let's see if they got it. Shotgun formation. And double fake QB keeper straight up the middle. Alamany pounds that one all the way down to the seven yard line. Second down now. Second and about four for Alamany. Three receivers set to the right of Alamany's quarterback and said they decide to run it straight up the middle. Mustangs D reads it well. Jordan Tobai involved in that play. Stopped just shy of the first. It's gonna bring up a third down situation. Third and three now for the Warriors. Shotgun formation, man in motion. It's a QB keeper again. Oh, leapfrogging his way all the way down to about the three yard line. Is Alamany's quarterback, and that is enough for a first. First and goal now. Athletic play by Alamany's quarterback. Otherwise, that would have been a fourth down. Sweep left, Alamany tries to go to the air again. That time it does not work. That one was Maribel with the carry. Second and goal, Alamany from the one. 
High formation. It's option right. Mustangs read it pretty well. Let's see where they spot this one, and it's a touchdown. Looked like the Mustangs may have stopped them just outside, but they were not able to. Touchdown, Alameda. Lots of scoring here in this opening quarter. Point after attempt by the Warriors. The kick is up, it's high, it is not straight, however, and therefore no good. 13 to seven is the score of this contest. 19 seconds left to go here in the opening quarter. Martin Mesa will kick for the Warriors. Rico Wright along with Kyle Nunn are due for the Mustangs. Yeah, Chris, uh, like you mentioned, with the first quarter just about over, it looks like uh, Coach Ray Lee's gonna have to do some adjustments coming up here in the second quarter and at halftime to hopefully stop this Alamany uh, offensive attack. Like the Mustangs, Alamany has been putting up a lot of points on the board all the way through the playoffs. Let's see how the Mustangs defense can respond. Meantime, Mustangs offense now on first and 10 from the 31 yard line after a nice return. They start off with the run right up the middle and leapfrogging over the middle is Morgan Reese with the great run, first and 10 Mustangs. Yeah, let's take another look at this play, Chris. Again, you see that great blocking up front by the Mustangs, which allows Morgan Reese to make it right here through the middle. Great job by the line. You got Jordan Tavai, you got Chad Jensen leading the way right up the middle and then Morgan finishing it off with a hard run and a good first down for the Mustangs. And that will do it, that will end this first quarter. Mustangs trail 13 to seven here at the College of the Canyons on the CIF Championship game. Yeah, Chris, as you can see the rain out on the track. It was raining all day out here in Santa Clarita. There's expecting showers later tonight. Hopefully the weather will stay good enough for to get this game in and hopefully the Mustangs won't encounter weather like they did last championship game at Quartz Hill. Mustangs keep this one on the ground with the QB keeper. Kyle Marco pounds his way forward. Gets to about the 43-yard line. It's going to bring up a second down and three for the Mustangs. Seven-yard run by quarterback Kyle DeMarco. And handoff straight up the middle. Ooh, the ball comes loose. Let's see if they call that one down by contact. It looks like they're not going to. Looks like they're going to call that one a fumble. That would be a turnover. Looked pretty close to me, Jeremy Personally, I thought he may have been down, but no instant replay here in high school, so Alamany will take over on the turnover. First and 10, they go straight to the air. Simple pass to uh, their tailback, Maribel, out of the backfield. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. Mustang showing blitz, they bring it, and it works, great play. That was number 33, Kellen, the Loch Ness Monster, Lockwood. Yeah, like you said, Chris, great play here on the blitz by the Mustangs. You got Kellen Lockwood coming up, and he when he gets in the backfield, he finishes off the job as he sees the quarterback nowhere to run and just drills him for a great sack. Good play by the Mustangs defense. They need a stop here on this drive. And that could be just exactly the type of momentum breaker the Mustangs need. Four yard loss on the play, second down and 14 now. Alamini in shotgun. 
Looking to pass. It's complete. Mustangs come up with the tackle. Third down situation now. Third and six for the Mustangs. I'm sorry, for Alamany. They go back to the air. It's up and ooh, incomplete. Officials all over that one. That would have been enough for the first down, but was not. Marcus Probosco, by the way, on that previous tackle, on that second down play. In the meantime, that sets up a fourth down situation. It looks like Alamany will go for it. They will not punt here. Fourth and short. And it looks like they got a timeout. Perhaps they were just trying to see if they could draw the Mustangs offside. Fourth and four situation. Of course, we're here in the second quarter. Alamini leads this contest 13 to seven. Mustangs in the road white jerseys with the gold pants and gold helmets. Alamini in the all dark. Alamany meet time now on fourth down, fourth and four. Mustangs have the pressure on. Alamany's trying to get to the outside. He's not going to get there. And the Mustangs stop just shy of the first down marker. Great job, Mustangs defense. They will take over, turnover on downs. First and 10 now. Drop play straight up the middle. It's Rico Wright. Gets about two yards on the play. Second down and eight now, Mustangs. Rico Wright again with the carry. Third down situation, third and four Mustangs. Shotgun for DeMarco. Four receiver set. Play action, he looks middle, he throws middle, and oh, incomplete. They had that one beautifully designed. Rico Wright, who's got great hands out of the backfield for the Mustangs. Rico spent a lot of time at receiver. Could not come up with that catch. However, Mustangs will be forced to punt fourth down now. Unlike Alamany, they will not go for it. They will punt on fourth down. The kick is up, it's high, it takes a bounce to see if the Mustangs can get there. They may have played it well. They do, Mustangs play that beautifully. What a great punt by Brandon Sofin. First and 10, Alamany now from the three yard line. They keep it on the ground, they get maybe two on the play. It's gonna bring up a second down and eight. This could be huge for the Mustangs if they can come up with the stop here, get some nice field position. Second and eight, shotgun formation. It's a QB keeper. Kyle Nunn comes up with a nice hit. That was enough for the first down though. First and 10, Alamany. We're here in the second quarter. Alamany leads 13 to seven. They keep it on the ground again, but that time, J.R. Tavai, I'm sorry, Jordan Tavai, with the big time hit right in the middle of the Mustangs defense. Second down situation now for the Warriors. It's play action, they go to the air, and incomplete good coverage by the Mustangs defense. Kyle Nunn stride for stride with Alamany's receiver. It's third down situation now. Third and long for Alamany. They're going to the air. It's up, it's incomplete. No flags on the play. Great coverage out there. That was number two, Rico Wright. Mustangs defense does its job. 
fourth down punting situation for Alamany. Kyle Nunn set to return. It's a bouncer. Kyle will take it on the bounce. Fights off a couple tackles and gets all the way down to the 40. Hard working eight yard return for the Mustangs on that punt return. They will take over first and 10 from the 41 yard line. Trailing at seven to 13, trying to see if they can get this one tied up or go for the lead. DeMarco with the completion right along the sideline. Kyle Nunn, what a great catch. Kyle to Kyle connection already worked twice for, for the Mustangs so far tonight. Meantime, they go to the ground that time. All the way down to the 19 was number two, Rico Wright for the Mustangs. Rico getting the bulk of the carry so far tonight. Mustang coaching staff must feel like they can use that speed of Rico's to their advantage. Second down situation now. Again, the Mustangs keep this one on the ground. That one looks like it may be enough for a Mustangs first. Again, Rico right on the carry. This time it's Morgan Reese with the carry straight up the middle. Three back formation for the Mustangs. It's Rico Wright following his blockers. He gets all the way down to the two yard line. We're gonna spot that one at the three, but Rico does such a great job of following his blockers. He's very dangerous in that situation. Speaking of dangerous, it's Kyle DeMarco and the QB keeper, and he gets in for the touchdown. Touchdown Mustangs. Meantime, the point after attempt is up. It's high, it's straight, and it is good. The Mustangs will take the lead in this contest, 14 to 13, here in the second quarter of the CIF Championship game. Again, Chris, the difference in this game so far has been the Mustangs special teams. You had the kick by Brendan Sofen, which was down on the two yard line, and then you had Alex the Roach Narocha converting on both his PAT attempts to give the Mustangs a one point lead. And with 3.11 left to play here in this opening half, the Mustangs lead this contest now 14 to 13. Alamany now back on offense. Again, the kicking game is so tricky tonight. Like I mentioned, the weather has been rainy all day today, and hopefully it'll stay dry, at least during this game, and hopefully that'll give Alex the Roach a good footing for any future kicks. Meantime, Alamany goes to the air, and it is incomplete. Good zone coverage out there by the Mustangs defense. Going to bring up a second down and 10 situation now for Alamany. Of course, after that touchback by DeRoach Narocha, the ball is spotted at the 20 yard line, second and 10. Aluminium shotgun. Mustangs got some pressure on. Jordan Tavai almost gets to the sack, forces the uh, QB scramble. Eight yard run by Alamany. It's going to bring up a third and two. Ball spotted at the 28 yard line, shotgun for Alamany. Alamany goes to the air, it's up, it's complete, but knocked out of bounds. Let's see where they spot this one. Looks like they did get enough. Not by much though. Five yard reception, first and 10 now for the Warriors. QB keeper designed. Alamany gets some nice yardage on the play. Good stop by Rico Wright, but after 
a good run by Alamany's quarterback. First down now from the 44 yard line. Alamany in shotgun. Mustangs getting some pressure on Alamany able to escape it. Finally knocked out of bounds by number three, Jackson Morrow. Maybe a one yard gain on the play. Good job by the Mustangs defense, second and nine now. As we get closer towards the end of the second quarter, Alamany and shotgun, it's complete. Mustangs number 21, Dion Morris with the nice tackle, but that is enough for a first down. First and 10, Alamany. Again, here in the second quarter, Mustangs lead 14 to 13. Alamany in shotgun, four receiver set. They roll right, they're under pressure. Again, forced to scramble. And Kyle Nudd with a nice tackle right on the sideline. Two yard gain, I'll call it three yards on the play. It's gonna bring up a second and a long seven. Alamini and shotgun. Rolling right, throws right, and incomplete good coverage, double coverage out there by the Mustangs, number 16, Adam Lawrence, and number 19, Kyle Nunn. Of course, uh, Kyle, of course, we talk about on offense. Defensively, he has really stepped up his game the last six, seven weeks. Quite a few interceptions. A couple of them returned for touchdowns. Six interceptions in the playoffs, and oh, Mustangs defense almost gets one there. Good job by uh, Kellen Lockwood. Almost comes up with the pick. Either way, it's incomplete and fourth down now for Alamany. Alamany went for it on fourth and did not get it earlier this contest. This time they are set up for the punt. Very similar field position as that last situation. Looks like they uh, learned their lesson against this Mustangs D. Mustangs defense has been Stopping teams on fourth down all season long. That one bounces out of bounds just outside of the goal line. Mustangs will take over, but they take over deep in their territory. First and 10, they keep it on the ground. Just trying to create some space here, if anything, for the offense to operate. We're here right at the end of the second quarter. Mustangs lead. 14 to 13 CIF championship game. Morgan Reese in the backfield, he gets the handoff. Gets about five on the carry. Gonna bring up a third and short for the Mustangs. And that will do it, that is halftime. The Mustangs will go into this half leading 14 to 13 in the CIF championship for the Southern region.
And welcome back for the second half as the Mustangs lead this contest 14 to 13. This is the CIF championship game. Let's see if that Mustangs team can hold on for one more half here. They will start out on offense first. Kyle Nunn with the return. Nice job by Kyle, gets out to about the 33 yard line. Well, uh, shaking up on the play, he is walking off on his own power. I'm sure Kyle will be fine, but definitely a key uh, member of that Mustangs team. And uh, nice, good to see him uh, running off the field. Mustangs meet time now on first and 10. Opening possession of the second half. DeMarco when I formation, it's a handoff. Mustangs get about three on the play. It's going to bring up a second and a long seven. Kyle Nunn back on the field, so he is fine. Good to go for the Mustangs. Meantime, second down now. The ball goes to Kyle Nunn. Breaks a couple tackles. That ball may be loose, though. Looks like he may have gotten it back. Of course, uh, Mustangs have been running that play quite frequently lately. Just a quick hitch out to Kyle Nunn. He's broken a couple of them for uh, big time touchdowns. Mustangs do recover and that is enough for a Mustangs first down. So first and 10 Maricosta. Ball spotted at the 43 yard line. Marco and Chaka and it's a QB keeper. Gets out to the 45, it's gonna be about a three yard gain. It's gonna bring up a second down and seven for the Mustangs. Shotgun again for DeMarco. Again a QB keeper. This time he busted outside. Breaks a couple tackles, he's still going. Finally busts out of bounds. Great run by Kyle DeMarco. First and 10 Mustangs. Yeah, Chris, let's take another look at this play. Another reason why this Mustang offense is so successful is the running of quarterback Kyle DeMarco. As you see right here, he breaks a tackle, runs over another tackler, and then this other tackler, I don't know, he's a little bit afraid after seeing DeMarco run over that guy, and then he just finishes off by pounding the other defender out of bounds. And good decision to cut that one outside as the uh, middle was definitely clogged. Really used his vision on that play. Busted outside and got a Mustangs first down. Marco now this time with the handoff. Morgan Reese with the carry. Spins, twists, turns. Gets about three on the play. It's going to bring up a second and long for the Mustangs. First we're here in the third quarter. Mustangs lead this contest 14 to 13. DeMarco under center. It's a handoff straight up the middle. Morgan Reese again with the carry. Morgan follows his blocker as well. Gets good yardage on the play. Second down now. DeMarco with the QB keeper. It was almost a uh, short yardage type play. It looked like he was, the coaching staff was really just playing for the uh, first down as it was second and inches. It worked, first and 10 Mustangs. DeMarco to Rico Wright. Rico gets down to the six. Observe at the uh, second down and four after the six yard gain by Rico. This time it's Morgan Reese. Gets another two, it's gonna bring up a third down. I'll call it a long one. And Mustangs get the first down. First and goal coming up. Good run straight up the middle. Mustangs of course went, the, went with that three back formation. They stay in that formation. 
First and goal, they keep it on the ground. Rico Wright gets down to almost the three yard line. Let's see where they spot it. They do spot it at the three, so second and goal from the three. DeMarco under center. It's a handoff, Morgan Reese fights his way forward. A lot of pushing, a lot of shoving. He gets in eventually, let's see what they call it though. Little mild scrum afterwards. Just shy, third down and inches. Expect the QB keeper. Mustangs run it. It's good and it's a touchdown. Just as we've seen all season long, Kata Marco finishes as QB keepers better than anyone else Mustangs maybe have ever had at the quarterback position. He gets into the end zone. Mustangs extended lead. The point after attempt is up high three and it is good. 21 now to 13 is the Mustangs lead. Eight point lead for Maricosta here in the third quarter. Kick is up high straight and returnable at the two yard line. Good deep kick, but Alamany trying to get something going here. Finally knocked out of bounds, but Alamany gets about 38 on the return. They took that one at the two. We got it all the way out to the 40. Man in motion, sweep left. Mustangs read that one pretty well. Jake Joe Meaty involved with that tackle. Two yard gain, gonna bring up a second down and eight for Alamany. Shotgun formation for the Warriors. There's a snap, it's an option left. Mustangs have this one read really well. Let's see if they can just come up with the tackle though. Alamany's Maribel cuts that one all the way out right after a deep option left. He took that one beyond the hash mark, cut it back, ended up with a nice gain on the play. It's third down now and five for Alamany. Shotgun formation. Blocking is nice, but the Mustangs coverage is even better. Adam Lawrence dropping back in coverage helped distract that play. Fourth down now and punting for the Warriors. Good snap. Punt is high and fair caught. Right along the sidelines by Kyle Nunn. Mustangs will take over first and 10. Leading 21 to 13 here in the third quarter. Marco under center drops back, throws in the middle, and that is complete. And enough for a Mustangs first down, first and 10. Ball spotted at the 42 yard line. It's a sweep right, but it's a play action pass. And oh, incomplete. Good attempt out there by Jackson Morrow. Not a bad throw at all by Kellen Lockwood, the Loch Ness Monster. That's the first time seeing uh, the Loch Ness Monster attempt that play. Mustang coaching uh, staff getting a little. Uh, Tricky there here in the championship game. Incomplete though, second and 10. This time the Mustangs go to the ground game. Morgan Reese, number six for the Mustangs with the carry. Third down and eight for the Maricosta. Marco Winchaka, and he's rolling right. He's looking right, he throws right. It's low, it looks like it's caught, but let's see 
But the ruling and they're saying incomplete. Kyle Nunn with a nice attempt. Fourth down, however, for the Mustangs. They will punt. Sofen with another nice deep punt. Really drives Alamany all the way back to about the 16 yard line. Let's see though, there is a flag and it is against the Mustangs. I have to assume Alamany will accept this penalty after such a great punt by Sofen. In fact, they do fourth down. Mustangs will re-kick this one. Brandon lets into another one. That's another good punt, and that one takes the Mustangs roll. They down it. Kyle Nunn downs it down at about the 23-yard line. Two great punts in a row by Sofen for the Mustangs. Shotgun formation for Alamany. Ball goes to the end around. That one works for a pretty big play. That gets all the way out to the 50-yard line, first and 10, Alamany. Of course, we're here in the third quarter. Mustangs lead 21 to 13, CIF championship game. Up high and over after the uh, tackle by Jordan Tavai. Of course, uh, number 85, Marcus Provasco, who also was involved in that tackle, did get a little banged up on the play. He looked like he is fine. Hopefully we can get Marcus right back out there on that defensive side of the uh, field for the Mustangs. QB keeper. Looked like Alamini uh, took a page from the uh, Mustangs book right there. Second and short, playing it exclusively for that first down. They got it, just as the Mustangs did. First and 10 now. Alamany, they keep it on the ground on the end of round. Couple of nice spin moves. Eventually a tackle by number 86, Jake Chalmini, after a nice run by Alamany. They keep it on the ground again, and uh-oh, big time run, and that is a touchdown. Malcolm Maribel with the good run right up the middle, used his speed, and gets into the end zone. Alamany now going for two, they got him in, and they got the two-point conversion. This game is all tied up. This stadium is going crazy, of course. Alamany very close uh, geographically to the College of the Canyons in San Fernando. So this uh, crowd very much in favor of Alamany here on their sidelines. They got a big crowd out there. Of course, Mustangs travel pretty well themselves. Meantime now, Mustangs on the return. Kyle Nunn. Flag comes down. A second flag comes in. Penalty is against the Mustangs. We will start off first and 10 now from the eight yard line. Oh, that ball's loose. DeMarco able to recover, second down situation now for the Mustangs. Second and deep, DeMarco looks left, throws left incomplete. Third down situation now. DeMarco Winchakan. He rolls slightly left, throws and incomplete. Fourth down punting situation. Sofen just let off two brilliant punts. 
Let's see if he can let off another one here. Alameda set up for the return. And that one gets out to about the 47. Alamini will take over first and 10 in a tied ball game, and that will end the third quarter. We will go into this fourth and final quarter deadlocked at 21 apiece. CIF championship game. This one is living up to the press. A lot of people expected a great contest between these two teams, and boy, are they getting it. Yeah, Chris, great contest so far. All deadlocked at 21. Here we go, fourth and final quarter. First and 10, Alamany. And they start off on the ground. They get a nice run here. That's good enough for first down. Flag on the play, though. Boy, what a break by for the uh, Mustangs, that would have been enough for a first down. Instead, it comes back after the holding penalty against Alamany. First and long now for the Warriors. Play action. Alamany going deep. Adams going deep and oh, knocked down. What a great play. Brilliant coverage out there for the Mustangs secondary. Second and long now. Quarterback Adams in shotgun. He's under pressure. Looks like Mustang's going to get the sack. They do third and even longer now. Third and about 25. This could be a huge stop here for the Mustangs if they can come up with it. Alamany on the handoff. Not anywhere near enough distance. Alamany kind of gave up on that play. It almost looked like they're fourth down and punny now. Mustangs will get the ball right back. Great job by the defense to step up there. Meantime, short punt by Alamany. Kyle Nunn tried to see if he could break a couple, was not able to. First and 10 Mustangs meantime, they keep it on the ground. Morgan Reese with the carry, stopped at the line of scrimmage, first and 10 Mustangs, I'm sorry, second and 10 now. DeMarco in shotgun, takes a snap, it's a handoff. This time it's Rico Wright, cannot turn that corner. Tried to cut back, but couldn't get anything going there either. Loses two on the play, third and 12 Mustangs. I formation, play action. DeMarco going deep. Four men down there, Kyle Nunn somehow comes up with the catch. Despite four defenders, Kyle Nunn leaps up, gets the ball. What a great play, Kyle to Kyle connection. Yeah, Chris, let's take another look at this brilliant play by Kyle Nunn as we see DeMarco's under center. There's the play action fake. Doesn't fool any of the defenders as there's four men surrounding Kyle Nunn. He just out leaps them and makes a great grab. One defender has his hand on the ball, but Kyle is not going to let him have it as here comes some more defenders to try and take Kyle down because he doesn't go down easily. It's gonna take more than four defenders to get Kyle Nunn down as, we, let's count them seven, get in on that play. Second big time play by Kyle Nunn. Kyle to Kyle connection twice now, gone deep. Both times getting the Mustangs into great field position. The first time led to a Mustangs touchdown. Let's see what happens this time. On first and 10, they run the ball straight up the middle. Morgan Reese with the carry gets a few yards on the play. Gets about three, second down and seven now. Three back formation. Again, it's Morgan Reese, this time off right tackle. 
Gets about four, third down and three now. Straight up the middle. Oh, that one may be enough for Mustangs first. Good hard run. In fact, it is. Morgan Reese squeaks through, gets the first down for the Mustangs. Ball spotted now at the 20 yard line. Mustang coaching staff looks like they're going to stick conservative, really try to pound this one in there. Staying with that three back formation, it's working well, so why not? Second down now for the Mustangs. This time they are stopped at the line of scrimmage. It's gonna bring up a third down and four. And this looks like it may be a timeout. In fact, it is timeout Mustangs. 526 left to go. Mustangs in great position here to take the lead. Let's see what they do on third down. It's a handoff. Morgan Reese, he stopped at the line of scrimmage. Fourth down and two Mustangs. Mustangs sent out the field goal unit. 28 yard attempt by Alex Naroche. Naroche, that one's up as high as three and it is good. Mustangs take the lead, 24 to 21, late in the fourth quarter. Again, special teams coming through for the Mustangs as they take the lead. Let's see if they can hold on here for four minutes and change left to go. They go out with this grip kick. Alamany starts off first and 10 from the 32. And oh, they are confused in offense. Flags fly, that one's gonna be against Alamany. Shotgun formation. And again, delay of game against Alamany. Two huge mistakes in a row. First and 20. They start off on the ground. Mustangs read this one beautifully. They only get about three on the play. Second and 17. Shot confirmation, this time they are going to the air. They're going deep, it's overthrown, it's intercepted. J.R. Oshima with a nice pick, takes it out of bounds. Mustangs will take over on the turner. Well, what a huge time, big time play by the Mustangs defense. Yeah, Chris, it appears that there was a hold after the interception. The Mustangs will regain possession of the ball. Again, great play by J.R. Oshima. Let's take another look at this as he read that play perfectly. Again, here we go with the Almanian shotgun. Mustangs trying to get some pressure on the quarterback. And then there's J.R. Oshima reading the ball perfectly as it's overthrown. And then he takes out Coach Aerosmith on the sideline to finish off the play. Monster play by the defense. Boy, what a time to come up with the huge turnover. First and 10, Mustangs take over. Of course, at this stage, they are just looking to try to take as much time off the clock as possible. However, of course, Alamany, a smart team, well-coached team, well aware of that fact, sent four guys in after DeMarco as DeMarco was on the uh, QB keeper. He lost the yard on the play, second down now for the Mustangs. They get about four, it's gonna bring up a third down now and seven. 
Mustangs keep it on the ground again, and ooh, almost get the first. Alamany using their timeouts wisely here. 2.07 left to go. Fourth down, Mustangs going for it. And it looks like they get it. QB keeper, it's worked all season long. You gotta expect him to go for it there. They do, and they get the first down. Mustangs keep it on the ground again. That time it's number six, Morgan Reese with the carry. Mustangs three point lead here late fourth quarter. Trying to ice this championship game off. DeMarco, three back formation with the handoff. Good run by the Mustangs. Third down and short, third and two. And delay of game for the Mustangs. That one will move it back to third and seven instead of third and two. They keep it on the ground. Do not get enough. That is a fourth down. Mustangs this time are set up for the punt. 26 seconds left to go. One more first down would have done it for the Mustangs. However, only 26 seconds, not much time at all for Alamany. The Mustangs feeling pretty good. Mustangs recover the ball, but a flag does come in. It looked to me like the Mustangs may have been a little overexcited, got there a little too early there. Did not give uh, Alamany's return man a chance to catch the ball. You have to give that two yard cushion. And it looks like that is the call. Of course, the uh, officials explaining that to the Mustangs coaching staff. However, 10 seconds do go off the uh, clock. 16 seconds left to go. Alamany with a lot of ground to cover in only 16 seconds. Mustangs have a chance to win this one. Two stops, that's basically all they need. They get some pressure on Alamany, goes to the air, it's up, and it's knocked down. Great coverage out there by the Mustangs secondary. Nine seconds left to go. Alamany's got one, maybe two more chances at this. If Alamany makes a play, the Mustangs more than anything want to keep this thing in bounds. Alamany going deep. And oh, Mustangs almost come up with an interception. Instead, it's incomplete. That will bring up a third down situation here. Flag, there was a flag on the play. It looks like it's being waved off. Two seconds left to go. Final play of this contest, barring a defensive penalty. At this stage, Alamany will not have a chance to set up for the field goal to tie it. They will have to try to get a touchdown here as they will only have one play left. Mustangs got the pressure on. Jordan Tavai knocks it loose. The ball's loose. They pick it up, they knock down again. JR Tavai, that will do it. The Mustangs win the CIF Championship. Alamini gets Tavide on the last play of the game. Jordan Tavide knocks it loose. JR Tavide knocks the Alamini uh, offensive player down. Mustangs get the tackle. The time runs off the clock. They take over. They win. Players are excited. Fans are excited. 
Jeremy is working his way down on the field, trying to get some of the uh, players' reactions, some of the coaches' reactions. Everyone is pumped. Congratulations, Mustangs. What an exciting season. League championship, CIF championship, beating a very talented Alamany team. 24 to 21 is the final. Jeremy continuing to work his way down to the field as the uh, players do the uh, final handshake. Congratulations, Mustangs. You are the 2009 CIF Western Division champion. Let's go down to the field with Jeremy Sadowski, who is there with the players, getting the uh, puffed up juices here with the, uh, the fans, the players, the families alike, the student body down there. Everyone's excited. Jeremy, what's going on? Yeah, Chris, it's chaotic down here, down on the field. What a win for the Mustangs, bringing home this third championship. It is a madhouse down here on the field. Let's see if I can find some players and some coaches to talk to. Let's see what is going on. It is just a celebration, a Mustang celebration here. Yeah, Chris, this, this team was destined to make it to this point. They came up short a little bit last year, but they didn't let that get in their way. They kept fighting all season long. They had a tough start to this season, starting off one and two, but they fought through that, went through a perfect Bay League season. JR, what's it like winning this? Jerry, I don't know what to say, man. It's a, it's a privilege. <laughs> yeah, Chris, the rain is coming down here now. The, it stayed dry throughout the championship game. Didn't give the Mustangs any problems. Game worthy of a championship game. Two excellent teams, and uh, uh, Donnie made a gutsy call at the end, and it worked out, and it was terrific. Great victory for Costa, and uh, um, it was a great season. Where would you put this team in the other uh, compared to the other uh, teams? I don't want to compare them. I don't want to compare them. It was a great victory. We've had three championships now uh, under Donnie's uh, uh, reign, and uh, they've all been terrific teams with uh, uh, their own unique uh, style. And um, th this was a powerhouse game. So this was the. Uh, this championship, though, was in the highest division we've ever been in to win. So I'd say uh, in, in, in those terms, uh, you know, when we were winning the early championships, we were in like division nine or ten, eight or nine or something like that. Now we're in the Western conferences of uh, like third division. So uh, this was a terrific team and Alamany was a terrific team. And uh, um, the game was a, a field goal game. But uh, the second half, we powered the ball a lot. And uh, so it was a good victory. Thanks, Jordan. I don't like that It's outsuited. Pressure down the down the uh, stretch there. What was it like being in there for that last part? I'm kidding. It was awesome. It's good to give us a win. I'm speechless. Congratulations, Thank boss. Thank you, man. Thank you. What are your thoughts on the game? I was so happy we freaking won. It was getting closer for a second, and I was like, I didn't even know if that three points would have like an effect on the outcome of the game, and it ended up having them. It was. It's pretty crazy right now. Was that probably the most memorable kick you'll ever have yeah. at the high school level? Yeah, that was definitely, that was definitely really memorable. It, it, it did what it did for the team, and now everyone can celebrate. All right, congratulations. Good luck next year. Thanks, man. Thank you. Kyle, can I get yeah, congratulations, Thanks, boss, first of all? Thank you. Um, any th thoughts on this season and just... I mean, from where you were last season to this season. You know, I mean, 
just the kind of unit and group we are. Just we knew we were going to push through at the end, and we knew we had so much trust in each other that we were going to come out there and uh, do what we've got to do. We've been dreaming about, about this since we were freshmen, and uh, how it, ending like this is just one of the most amazing feelings in the world. And when you when you saw Kyle there getting um, covered by what I counted six players, did you have any doubt he was going to come down with that? I, mean, <laughs> I never have a doubt in that game. You know, he's been a playmaker all year. He's done it all year for us, so never a doubt in my mind. I mean, this is a great overall team effort. Oh, I agree. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks a lot. Incredible season all the way around. This playoffs. I saw both the other championship runs, and this was something special, offensively and defensively. What sticks out in your mind? Um, for the season, I'll have to say this game the most, of course, uh, thinking about uh, how great our team is, the relationship we had, and uh, that really helped in uh, our success. And um, on that one play where I, I think I counted five or six defenders on you, I had no doubt that you were going to come down with that ball. I mean, what is it like just going up against that many people and just um, honestly, taking it away. I didn't even know that there was uh, four people. I saw one guy, I knew that I had to beat that guy, and then I saw other arms, and I was like, oh, where are these other arms coming from? And that just made me have to want to pull the wall that much more down, and uh, we really needed it that time. So to fill the wall. All right, great job, great season, and um, looking forward to seeing you uh, next year in college. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, Booster President Chucky oh, D. No. I say. What are your thoughts? What I'm going to say is that these guys were amazing. I can't tell you how, how I enjoyed watching them since their ninth grade season. Every kid is awesome. They play with so much heart and integrity and character. They just got it and they all played awesome together. And it's, and it's just an amazing game. The, the final, both all seniors and the win CIF put the paint on the wall. I couldn't be more proud of than these boys and everything that they have accomplished. And I enjoy cheering for them so much. And I actually love them. I love them to death. Thank you. Thank you. Kellen, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Johnny Morgan here. I'm here with Johnny Morgan, uh, former Booster president and the leader on the Turf Project. What are your thoughts on this team as they finished it off? that it feels a lot better than the last few years. <laughs> they did a good job, they did a good job. The, uh, the program's uh, about uh, always improving and about excellence and about commitment and these guys, uh, they, they had that. It all came together. Uh, coaches uh, give it their all every year. The players give it their all every year. But this is what it's about. And this is what they work so hard for. And it was a lot different than in 2000 last time we were here. Well, those that remember. So yeah, it's a good day. Good night. It's a good night. All right. Thanks, Johnny. All right. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. Can I get a couple words on tonight's victory? What was uh, key coming out of halftime and stopping these guys? I think it was key. We went back to what we do instead of trying to uh, do things to defend their offense. We just went out and played our our brand of football, our schemes of football, stuff that we do all year, and uh, it was a pretty beautiful thing. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Chris, again, this was a great win by the Mustangs. Like Coach Fish said, this was the highest division. The Mustangs have won a championship, Division Three, Western Division. A great job by the Mustangs coaching staff. Great job by these kids, all the parents that have supported them all through the years. Again, great job by this Mustangs. Back to you. And exactly as Coach Lee said, they got back to what they do. They didn't veer from that at all. They stuck to the game plan, and boy, did it work. Worked all the way to the championship. Congratulations, Mustangs. You are the 2009 CIF champions. For Jeremy Sadowski, I'm Chris Lee signing out. Fans, thanks for tuning in all season long. You've been great. This team's been great and fun to watch. Congratulations, Mustangs, the CIF champions 2009.